I'm a sales manager for a German MNC manufacturing sector. Right. My job is basically to take care of the whole of Singapore. And uh, your family? How many children you have now? I have two. Three will be the girl, six will be the boy. Yeah. What, what's your name? My daughter will be Velvina, mm -hmm. and uh, my son will be Velden. Tell us more about before you are dead, what character do you carry with you? Before I was married, I was actually very um, happy-go-lucky. I don't really care about a lot of things, you know. I, 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 I simply um, just don't care. You know, uh, I don't stay in a job for too long. I'm not very responsible in my job. You know, I, I'll just leave each day by Thank you, that's as it goes. Uh, yeah. You're very honest to, to share this part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what changes your life? I understand now you're a very committed father and uh, you spend lots of time. Yeah. Right, I mean, even when, when I was married, I was pretty much the same. Um, my wife, she, uh, she's bear with, she bear with me for a long time and she's still bearing with me now. <laughs> and the thing is, um, when things happen, I start to change. I start to look at things in a different perspective. So it is only the recent years like, that I start to understand my true responsibility. Desmond, understand in 2013 January, a tragic happened to your family. Yep. You would like to share a little bit more with us? I lost my elder son, Velman, um, to STS Stephen Johnson syndrome. Uh, that was caused by, that was in the, in the midst of treatment for his leukemia. So, right after that, um, I look at things very differently. I treasure my times with my kids and my family. What about your relationship with Felman? Felman was, was, was pretty much like me, you know, happy go lucky because kids being kids, you know. So, we didn't, I was very harsh on him. Why? Because I just want him to be someone better than me. See, I do, I, because I do not want to see um, Batman becoming me and start to realise things at the later stage of his life, which is too late. You see? So, um, in terms of his studies, I changed his school from a very good school to a very neighbourhood school so that he can keep up with the works, for his school works, um, for sports. Um, personally, I, I love football. Okay? Um, and I see that he has this potential in playing football, so I was very harsh on him. I made sure that he attend a few um, football lessons you know, um, in a week, which is very stressful for a kid. So basically, he's very afraid of me, because I was very strict with him. Did he being himself? So you're saying that he's not being himself in front of you? Uh, in front of um, his mother, his grandparents, He's very, um, he's back to his normal self, very naughty, very mischievous, you know, very, um, very playful. But when he's in front of me, he's like another person, which I do not get to see the playful part of him. So I thought that I did a good job as a father. All I can say is, let your child have a proper childhood. You see, a lot of times we tend to, um, exert unnecessary pressure to our kids. Why? Because we want them to excel. Why? Because we want them to do better than us. You see? But a lot of things we don't understand is if we put much pressure onto the child, they will lose interest in a lot of things. They will do it for the sake of us and not for them. They won't understand because they are too young to understand whether it is really good for them. They just do this why? Because they want to please us. Because they want to make sure that we give them the praise. And if we don't give them the praise of what they did for us, they'll be disappointed. So my message to all parents out there is, is, is please let your child have a proper childhood. Okay? Yes, it is important that, um, to, to teach them, but we have to guide them the proper way. Because parents always think that loving the child is somehow have to be in control of the schedule and everything. So, you want to elaborate more about what do you mean? I used to believe that um, buying toys, buying gifts for my son, for Velman is the, is the right way. Because at the time, I was very busy um, working. So, I have my own, own um, night football, night basketball, which actually I shouldn't have. 
So I thought, I like, okay, today I spent a lot of time in, in my football. This day I'll get you a gift and he'll be happy. But I fail to understand one thing, that the greatest gift that we can give to our child is our time. And it's not whatever gift that we can buy off the shelf. Okay, so going through with Felman and in your two, two children today, how, how do you spend time? What's the quality time you're talking about? We want to spend more time with my kids. So I, I, I give up a lot of, um, of my activities and things like that. Yes, I still have some activities like, you know, uh, once in a while I'm going to play football, things like that. But I was trying to spend more time with them, bring them out, understand them. Uh, no longer I will restrain myself from asserting an unnecessary pressure onto them. Just let them be who they are, who they want to be with proper guidance. I think this is very critical. Any parting message for parents? <laughs> you give your child the space to grow and not mold them to what you want them to be. Every kid, every children, every child, they are very special in their own way. They have their own um, talents in their own way. So we have to realise that and let them grow towards what they like and not what we like.